Alright, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome back to the second round, the divisional round of our Texans Fantasy Draft CFM Series Playoffs. That was an absolute mouthful, but last week we took down the number three seed in the AFC, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and we won pretty comfortably. The guy was pretty good, but we played really well on both offense and defense. This week, we are taking on another YouTuber, goes by the name of T Hammer. He is the 11 and 6 Raiders. And honestly, I thought we would be playing the Colts once again for like the ninth time in both of my franchise series. Unfortunately, though, well, I say unfortunately, maybe fortunately, he was actually upsetted by the seven seed, the Cleveland Browns. It was an absolutely crazy game, a goal line stand to win by three. So he's taking on the Chargers in the divisional round. You guys know from last season, we have a bit of beef with the Chargers. So hopefully we can get that rematch in the championship. I'm focused on this game right here though. If we take a quick look at the NFC side of things, the Eagles take down the Saints by a margin of four. And then a great matchup there is the Falcons and Lions. Last season, we played the Lions in the Super Bowl. He's actually playing Wesley, one of the best pro players in the world. So a really exciting matchup there. Hopefully, I get to watch that one. Some really nice matchups here, man. Let's go ahead, deal with some things, and then jump into the game. So we have some upgrades to make here. We'll skip over the players that don't play. Justin Reed is going up to a 90 overall. Morale is still down somehow. I don't understand, but he gets plus two acceleration, which is actually awesome. Like outside of speed, acceleration is incredible, especially for a safety. Isaiah Simmons, our other safety, is going up to a 90 overall as well. Can we please get this man superstar? No good stat boost right there. Unfortunately, Jeff Smith is getting close to an 80 overall, man. I was hoping he would get superstar as well with all those tandem breakouts we had throughout the season. Unfortunately, not the case. Plus one Excel, deep route running as well. His deep route running is getting close to 85, which again is that threshold. Very, very close. Chandler Coyle, our other, our third string wide receiver who actually does start for us is going up to a 70 overall as well. Come on, man. Give me plus one speed. Release the route running and medium route running. Definitely will not complain about route running. And then Mac Jones right here is getting an upgrade once again. We'll go ahead and just go field general. We'll go with his highest archetype. We already have the high route master. We have the gunslinger. We have awareness, play action, throw on the run, throw under pressure. Some decent upgrades there. Hoping for throw power once again. We're not going to get it. We'll auto upgrade the rest of these guys. Let's take a quick look at the Raiders roster and we're ready to go. So here's the Raiders roster. Trey White leads the team with 40-year-old Tom Brady at a 94 overall, 71 speed. We don't have to worry about the rollout for once in my entire life, which is very nice. Derwin James here, Jeffrey Simmons, Adoree Jackson, Darnell Savage, Evan Ingram, KJ Hamler. So it looks like his defense is really nice. A lot of players with superstar abilities there. If we go ahead and sort by speed, his fastest player is his corner and then KJ Hamler. So he doesn't really have a ton of speed compared to us. I'm definitely liking this team matchup, man. But again, that doesn't mean too much in the playoffs. It's really about who wants it more. I know it's just a video game. It's cliche. But again, there is a lot of money on the line. People are not playing around and neither am I. So with that being said, let's go ahead, jump in this game and just absolutely bury this dude. All right, here we go, boys. Listen. I think I'm maybe a bit too complacent right now. We have to lock in. We have to get the right energy. I'm used to playing pissed off. You know, usually people say something to me. This guy didn't really say anything to me, but we got to find a reason, man. We got to find it quick. All right, we're running that Minnesota Live playbook. You know, I mentioned in previous episodes, we've been running the Raiders Live. We're still primarily running out of that trip side end right now. I feel like it's one of the best offenses. The only thing is you really need a tight end apprentice or a hot round master. And obviously we have that with Mac Jones and Kyle Pitts. Three man rush, Mac Jones on the run, get her feet in bounds. Let's go, that's a great start. 32 yards, man. Let's keep having plays like that. Kyle Pitts wide open, let's rack catch it. Kyle fights, let's go up to the three. Do we have a run play to get in though? I'm not used to this playbook. It's one of the first times running Minnesota Live. We're just gonna have to find a good run and just pray to God. Oh my, dude, we had a walk-in touchdown to Wongu. We got to accelerate. I got to have better run stick. That's not a Wongu's fault. That's literally my fault. I wouldn't be surprised to see a run come in here. Wow, he ran commit and picked me off on a run commit. 
That is so incredibly lucky, man. We ran an RPO. We knew he was going to run commit. I called it out, and we passed it. It was everything we expected, and his player just made a crazy play on it. That's honestly super unlucky. Like, that just shouldn't happen. All right, well, I told you guys I didn't need a reason to get mad, and now I'm mad. They, uh, Now I'm mad. That's all I'm going to say. Now I'm pissed. And now we have the X Factor where my guy just doesn't actually go on his route. This is fun. Nice little pass on the run there from Mac Jones. We had all day. Great pass protection. Nice little dot at the sideline. Kind of a floater from Mac. Can we get that ball off a little bit quicker, please? Run it, Pitts. We got to run him over. We did run him over, but it's like it slowed us down too much. Dang. Oh my god, my game just lagged really bad. Did anyone just see that? I don't know if that was just like an on my screen thing, if the if the software recording will pick that up, but I just lagged like horribly. I'm gonna hope he run commits again. But we're actually gonna pass this time. Oh he didn't. Okay. Oh, that was almost another pick. We had the guy standing wide open in the back of the end zone and he moved at the last second. Oh, that was almost bad, man. All right, let me just run it in with Nwongo. That's what we should have done the first time. Like, I just, the, fir the first drive, man, I knew he was going to run commit. So I thought the RPO would work. Uh, I, mean, I just got to know better for next time, man. We can't trust the RPO there. Definitely got away with one on the previous play. You know, there's no way of knowing my guy was going to cut down right as I threw the ball. So that was a bit of unfortunate timing. But listen, 7-7, seven, seven, we're back in the game. We got to get a stop on this dude. And we got to get one early. Come on, man. First play. I'm everywhere. I'm the boogeyman. Crib it too, Simmons. Crib it too and celebrate on him. Yes, sir. We earn our stops around here, okay? We don't need no fluke. Come on. That's a crazy alert. First offensive play. Hey, apply the pressure, man. His heart's going to start being a little bit faster. He's going to start getting a little bit sweatier. Defense. That's intentional. That's intentional, coach. Maybe he got us out of the pocket. I don't know, but that was close. Defense, Vita Vey, that's a bag. I tried to bait him in and throw him the flat. We click back on. Come on, man. Go for it. Yes, sir. I need pressure here, boys. I need pressure. I'm sending five. We're playing 30 yard flats. Oh, we have the momentum now, so he's getting the messed up hot routes. Yes, sir. We'd love to see it. Come on. Go get him, boys. Where are we at? Yo, my corner. What it, what's my corner doing? Oh, he's out of bounds. Let's go, TGL. Come on, baby. Team, get lucky. My corner was right there and just didn't react to it at all. All right, we got to blitz more people, man. He had all day right there. I'm sending six instead of five this time. I would assume similar route combo. We're running cover two, so we got to watch any post over the middle of the field. Same route combo. Pick. Come on, JC Horn. Crib it. JC. You got to beat Tom Brady right here, man. Let's go, pick six, number two, back-to-back -back drives. I don't know what he was thinking. I would have probably tested one of the receivers in the middle. You know, I had to pick one with my user. It was like a 50-50 chance, basically, and he tests someone who just simply wasn't open. JC Horn with the pick six once again. Let's go, man. Come on. We have the full momentum now, so we can actually see what route he's on. This kind of tells me it's a wheel play. We're all over it. Carl Lawson, this is a cage, man. <laughs> His first completion of the game, and it was so close to being picked off. It's a 25-yard flat, man. We got to get back there and play that. Oh, good, good dot in the corner route. Damn. Pick, pick! Oh, 
my god, Stevenson! This is a chance for redemption! That's GG's if you catch that. Oh, we almost had a perfect click on. Just a little bit too slow with Brooks right there. Ah, uh, we need a little more pressure than that. Good dot, man. Good patience in the pocket. Ah, uh, we carry him into the end zone, man. We had the pick with Stevenson on that drive. It was good defense. We made him work at least. It's fine, man. Let's go. Let's go down the field. Let's make this the last possession before half. Let's get seven. Make it a 14-point game, and we're in a really good spot to win. Ah, I thought we get over top, but it's just a little bit too close to the sideline, man. That's good defense right there from my opponent. Oh, look at the look at the matchup we have on the left. Look at the matchup we have on the left, man. His alignment was completely messed up. He manned his safety up, so he basically had no safety help in that sense. And Andre Johnson Jr. 98 speed. Come on, man. You gotta put a safety over top. Defense, come on, man. Let's go. All right, well, this is kind of a cheat code. We know he's running flood and bunch because we have full momentum. So I went ahead, called a timeout, changed my zone drops. Thankfully for me, he's calling the same exact play, and this should be a bag. Nothing should be open. We know it's flood. I mean, what was that? His player got stuck on someone, and then he playmakered him up the field. Like, come on, dude. Ah, uh, it's too much time, and the clock keeps running. I'm going to call a timeout. Hopefully, we get the ball back. That's got to be out of bounds, though, man. Tackle, Simmons. Yup, come on, perfect. Pick Simmons. I don't really want to take this out, but it made me do it. Great goal line stand right there man that is our area of expertise we get stops down here in the red zone and we do it again simmons let's go ah uh, no timeouts that's gonna do it i should try to get out of bounds right there i just didn't want to take a sack and fumble for six or anything like that great half though you know we got out to a terrible start we bounce all the way back man he gets ball here so it's still a game Let's get one more stop. We're playing outstanding defense right now. Almost got back to it. I like it. Man, he's, he's nervous right now on offense. You can tell. Ah! Tried to f I followed the wheel initially. I didn't think it would get that open late. Good dots. That's bad defense for me, man. We got to play way better defense right there. Laser, come on, man. He's glowing orange. He's got double me. You got to double him. Okay, and Wangu split out wide. He's misaligned again. He manned him up this time. Or backside dig, Jeff Smith. Spin move. Here we go. Look at Mac Jones with the wheels, man. Look at Mac Jones with the wheels. Easy dots, easy dots, baby, easy dots. Oh my god, that was a wide open touchdown. Come on, Mac. We need to have a better throw than that, man. He was standing there, 
begging for the ball in the middle of the field. I think it was the receiver's fault, too. He moved at the last second. That was just unfortunate time. And that should have been a tud. Oh, he's blitzing everyone? Okay. He's blitzing everyone. We have threat detector, man. We see this coming. We see it coming. Come on, you know I have threat detector. You can see my abilities. Ability so good. We know he's blitzing. We're able to exploit it by sending out five, hitting him with the quick seam. We take a 14 point lead once again, and we have to make him work. Come on, man. No easy touchdowns like last drive. Scream at him. Oh my goodness. Throw the flag. Wheel route. Wheel route. Ah, he hits us with the bomb. Jordan Fuller, our user, just too slow. We gotta make him work. I gotta blitz this guy more, man. He's too comfortable with the zone coverage. Just a bad defensive play call by me. Ah, I shouldn't have ran, like I said. Easy dot, Andre Johnson, he's got the wheels. Turn it upfield, okay. He's blitzing on third third and fourth down, making it super obvious. We're also on conservative ball carriers, so we don't fumble here. We're chewing clock. We're pretty close to field goal range. If we can make this a two possession game, get a first down or two, we're really gonna suck the life out of this game. Run base, and Wongu, fight forward. Good fight, kid. All right, you guys think he blitzes again or what? Oh, good coverage, man. I wasn't expecting, man. We're going to have to go for this. I should have no huddled. That was completely my fault. I should have no huddled so he couldn't set his own drops. Big mistake for me right there. I don't feel like it was a bad mistake necessarily missing any reads. I thought everything was covered the entire time. I felt like I scanned the field pretty well. I'm sure you guys in the comments will let me know what I missed. But honestly, I feel like it was, it was just good coverage, honestly. Ah, that was good coverage, man. Nothing open again. He just played perfect defense back to back. Make the tackle. All right, gotta just make him work right here. Dang, that was just really good coverage. He had everything completely bagged. Tackles, come on, man. Make him work down the. Actually, no, don't make him work down the field. Send the crib at him. Pick six. He threw right into a hard flat, man. Come on, it's great defense. If he didn't get an accurate throw, that might have been a pick. Ah, uh, we try to get back to it. I'm gonna run commit. Told you guys, we can be more aggressive down here. Defense, defense. Send the heat at him, coach. Ah, uh, felt like that was really good coverage. He floated all the way right. I'm gonna run commit here again. Run commit. Come on. Four yards on a run commit, though. Come on, boys. Run commit again. I told you guys we need more aggressive here. Come on. Defense, come on, baby. Good defense. Now, we could honestly blitz here, man. This wouldn't be a bad area to blitz. I think that's what I'm going to do. Pick, come on, man. Get up, Forrest. Get up. 
Oh, we gotta get up quicker. He still has life, but that was perfect defense, man. Caught him off guard with the blitz. Perfect coverage. Let's go. All right, one first down, baby. One first down. Come on. One first down. One first down, Owangu. One first down. Let's go, man. GG's. Let's go. Great fight right there. Making a great stand. You know, we made it a little bit harder than we had to, right? We had an opportunity to make it a two-possession game late in the fourth, but honestly, he played really good defense. I don't even really feel like we messed up that bad. Credit to him for making a defensive stand like that, getting the ball back. We just we just locked up. We're too good in the red zone, man. We played great defense right there. That is the strong shoot of our game. We rely on it over and over again, and it comes up clutch once again. We're going to take home the victory, 35-28. to Next week, we take on either the one seed or the seven seed. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, man. I will see you guys next week. Peace.